And one of the biggest races we'll be watching in our area tonight is the race for Baltimore City Mayor. Our live team coverage continues. Annie Rose Ramos brings us the message from all three candidates as they make their final push. Annie Rose. That's right, guys. Voters are headed to polls across the city, and that's no exception here at Camden Yards. You can see the line stretches straight down the side of the stadium. Now, we checked in with all three mayoral candidates as they make one final push in their campaign for the city's mayor. Brandon Scott, the Democratic candidate for mayor, dropping his ballot into a drop box this morning at Forest Park High School. This is where my mom graduated high school. This is a big day for the city, a big day for me and my family as well. While the independent candidate Bob Wallace cast his ballot in Cherry Hill. The school right behind me, this is the middle school that I went to many, many years ago when I was a kid here in Cherry Hill. Both candidates showing their roots lie deep in Baltimore. I started here. Many years ago, and I'm, I'm ending here. The third candidate, Republican Pastor Shannon Wright, who says her platform is simple. Make our public schools work, make our streets safe, and bring jobs into the city that you can actually raise a family on. While Scott says his leadership experience is what sets him apart. You just have to remind people who's been here, who's been fighting for Baltimore City, who's lived in Baltimore City. Wallace says it's his expertise in business that makes him qualified. How do we build the economy of the city? Now all three of them, Republican, Independent, and Democrat, have only a few final hours to make one final push for mayor. And Lynn, back live now at the Camden Yards. You can see the line stretching straight down the side of the stadium, as I mentioned earlier. Now, just for those mayoral candidates, we know that Baltimore is a heavily Democratic city, but the Independent and the Republican candidates are both banking that Baltimoreans are ready to vote for someone new. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.